Want to learn how to play with your baby or toddler and increase their learning potential at the same time? Then you are at the right channel at Inchworm Academy. Welcome to Inchworm Academy, where we like to play with the brain and mind. Today, we're going to be working with flashcards. It is in the early years that the child gains the ability, confidence, and sense of self-worth with which to deal with adversity in the later years. I hate to admit it, but I never ever thought that flashcards could be fun or very useful for small children. I did not understand how valuable and fun they can be. Of course, the key to using flashcards effectively depends upon you using it more as a picture book or toy and not as a way to drill your child. <gasps> Which one are you finding? True. Play is always the best way to get your little one more engaged in the learning process. Take each card and look at ways you can play with it or act things out. Hello, bird. You want to pet the bird? While using flashcards in a constructive way, you are building vocabulary. Yeah. Do you see the bird's eye? Yeah. Uh -huh. you eat it. Connecting pictures with words that you are using and acting things out reinforces and strengthens their command over language. If you have a child that does not enjoy sitting down while you read a book, it may be because they lack the vocabulary to understand what you are reading to them. When you are focused on a single word or object, they feel more like a participant and take on a more active role in learning. The next thing we are also working on is communication. Good. Make a wish. And look on, on top of the cake, there are stars. Do you see the stars? Stars. Stars. And this plate, this plate is red. Talking about a picture and using it as a springboard for creative play or a way to explore ideas is an excellent way to have a good conversation with an infant or toddler. Henry, there's a monkey. What does a monkey say? <laughs> as you talk about the picture, you are also inviting your child to discuss what is going on. To them, you are having a meaningful conversation that they can finally understand. Of course, this creates more bonding. One of the best ways to connect with your child is to talk to them. Infants and young children are born with a desire to hear your voice. The butterfly. Butterfly. Children associate your interest in talking with them with their own importance, so make it a priority. Hello. Thanks again for joining us. Please check out our website at inchwormacademy.com for more information and subscribe to our channel. 